Good afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today for National Disability Institute's orientation for the Assistive Technology Loan Program. And uh, my name is Laurie Schaller. My email is lschaller at ndi-inc.org. My telephone number, you're welcome to give me a call after today's presentation um, with any questions uh, that come to mind uh, after our presentation. My direct line is 202-449-9522. So you're welcome to submit questions as we present today. And to do that, please use the Q&A box to send any questions you may have during the webinar. If you are listening by phone and not logged into the webinar, you may also ask questions by emailing lschaller, L-S-C-H-A-L-L-E-R, at N-D-I-I-N-C dot O-R-G. Next slide. National Disability Institute is a non-for-profit agency. And our vision statement is that we envision a society in which people with disabilities have the same opportunities to achieve financial stability and independence as people without disabilities. Our mission we collaborate and innovate to build a better financial future for people with disabilities and their families. So here at National Disability Institute, we have many projects, about 17, um, that are all around financial wealth building and financial capability. We have a new resource available giving information re relative to COVID-19 and stimulus payments, and the information is specific for individuals who have a disability or a chronic health condition. And we welcome to, you to visit our website and see the information and resources posted at the Financial Resilience Center. That link is https semicolon forward slash forward slash www.nationaldisabilityinstitute.org. Next slide. So many people are interested in learning more about managing their money effectively, improving their credit, and qualifying for loans. NDI has prepared this recorded orientation to help you understand what assistive technology is, how to select assistive technology and off, offer options for purchasing assistive technology. And today, this is a special event. We are highlighting assistive technology in the form of vision devices that are available through OrCam. Next slide. So National Disability Institute received a grant from the for the Alternative Financing Program through the U.S. Department of Education's Rehabilitation Services Administration. We provide remote assistive technology loan services, including we provide referrals for assistive technology loans, and we, we provide financial education in the communities of New Jersey and New York. And we offer assistive technology loans to those that we cannot find another source of reliable funding so a person can purchase the assistive technology that will meet their needs. And the loans are available from $500 up to $30,000. For uh, residents of New York State, the interest rate is 6%. And for residents of New Jersey, the interest rate is 4%. And these alternative financing programs exist across the United States. And at our website, you can find a link to find other alternative finance programs that are available in other states other than New York and New Jersey. And these loans are all about the purchase of assistive technology. And we work with financial institutions to offer affordable loans to people who need to purchase assistive technology. Next slide. 
So today's presentation will be focusing on vision devices, but assistive technology is a, a broad term. It is any device that can help a person with a disability or condition perform an action that a person without a disability can typically do. So assistive technology ranges from hearing aids, vision aids, smart home systems, stair climbers, standing wheelchairs, home or vehicle modifications, business equipment, and can even be as simple as having a working bathtub. So again, today we'll be talking about vision aids uh, available through OrCam. And these vision aids, they can help individuals who um, have a vision impairment as well as conditions like dyslexia. So we really look forward to um, our experts from OrCam sharing their devices. And I would like to welcome Evan Cannon and Eve Posner. Evan, would you like to start this off? Next slide. So oh, actually, I'm sorry, Eve. yeah, that's okay. So actually, <laughs> I'm going to start. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome. I am an authorized distributor of OrCam Technology in New Jersey. My name is Eve Posner, and my contact information um, is as follows. My website is get orcam, G-E-T-O-R-C-A-M dot com. My phone number is 973-820-5090. And my email address is eve at amit-group.com. That's eve at A-M-I-T dash group dot com. And I'd love to invite all of you to um, Follow me um, for OrCam news and updates on Facebook and Instagram, and that's at, at, at Get OrCam. Next. Hi, and my name is Evan Cannon. That's E-V-A-N-C-A-N-N-O-N. -N -N I work uh, directly for OrCam. I am the area sales manager uh, for New York and New Jersey states. Uh, you can always reach me at my cell phone at 631-766-0016, or you can always email me at evan.cannon at orcam.com, and that's E-V-A-N dot C-A-N-N-O-N at O-R-C-A-M dot com. Next. So... I, as I mentioned, I am from a company from known as OrCam. Um, some of you may have heard of us previously, some may have not. We are pretty, in the grand scheme of uh, companies, we are pretty new. We were founded in 2010. Our founders um, are two Israeli inventors, and they helped develop the technology that was once, that is now called Mobile Eye. Mobile Eye is a collision detection uh, for vehicles. It was recently, as passed a couple of years ago, bought uh, by a company known as Intel, as everybody should know, for a couple of billion dollars. At that point, they had a lot of these patents. They wanted to do something that can help the world, so they decided to become an assistive technology company. And that's where the idea of OrCam, using these collision type uh, detection patents to help individuals with low sight or blindness. They did all this throughout the time. They got financing. We went through beta testing, launched the first version of the device back in 2015, got tons of great feedback from the users about the product, redeveloped it, relaunched it. We're in over 40 countries now worldwide. And during the, this COVID-19 pandemic, we did not shut down our doors. We all worked from home. Our R&D department uh, was still getting you know, financing from investors. And we developed new features for our MyEye, which then allowed us to launch the MyEye 2 Pro. And the new device that we're here about is the OrCam Read, which is a handheld device compared to our MyEye 2 
wearable device. Next slide. Assistive technology is very personal. We find that everyone has unique needs when it comes to the tools that um, they use. A tool that benefits one person might not be good for another. There's so many considerations about which device or product or tool meets the individual's need. So that is our motto, that it's very personal. Today's focus is on OrCam Read. Next slide. But I'll briefly mention OrCam My i2, our flagship product. My i2 is a wearable device about the size of a finger for people who are blind, have vision impairments, and reading difficulty. The device speaks what it sees. It takes a picture and reads text. It identifies faces, barcodes, consumer products, colors, and money, all in real time, meaning no delay. My Eye responds to voice commands so the user can speak to the, to the device. The new smart reading feature that was just added to the My Eye uses something called natural language processing, like what a smart speaker like Alexa would use. And this new smart reading feature is installed on what we call the My Eye Pro that Evan alluded to a second ago. The My Eye Pro, new this spring, allows the user to ask the device to find specific information like words in articles, a kind of dish on a menu, like a chicken dish, or something like phone numbers. So you would take a picture and then ask with a vocal command for it to find the phone number. That's called smart reading and that's on the My Eye Pro. Let's go over the device itself. The device itself has a 13 megapixel camera that is very detailed and picks up very small details. That's in the front and it faces forward when you're wearing it. So whatever I'm looking toward, that's what the camera will see. It's facing forward like my face. Whatever direction I turn in, the, the device turns with me. On the device, there are LED lights that act as a flash and that will illuminate the reading surface when light conditions are low. So if it's dark in the room and I'm taking a picture of a piece of paper or a piece of mail, then the, flights will, the flash will automatically flash onto the page so that it will have enough light for reading. There's a microphone on the device, which is for my vocal commands for when I speak to it. In the middle, there are magnets that attach to the magnetic mount that's on the eyeglass arm. So this is a wearable device, magnetically attaches to the side of your eyeglasses, and that's how you're um, going to wear it. Hands are free to do whatever they're doing because the device is securely on the eyeglasses. Behind the magnets, there's a power button. And when I press the power button, I don't need to see if the light goes on to indicate that it's on because it will speak to me. It will first beep to confirm that I've pressed it and then it will beep as it's warming up and then welcome me with the voice message. It has a speaker and also Bluetooth capabilities to pair it with headphones. Then there's a charging port, which is magnetic and very easy to secure to the cable for charging. I don't have to see anything to fit it in. It will just magnetically connect. Then I'll get an audio message that it's connected. And then on the outside, the part is we uh, main part is called the touch bar. That's for operating it. We tap on it to take a picture, um, for example, um, or I would swipe on it to change the volume. So that's the my eye device. We do demos and assessments to make sure that the my eye is a good fit for the intended user. We have thousands of people worldwide using my eye in different countries on a daily basis. It's a multilingual device. 
Purchase includes one-on-one -on -one training, which helps get the user started comfortably and really off to a successful start in their my eye experience. Next slide. So as we said, this webinar is really focusing on OrCam Read. And to get us started, we are going to play a short video. Please bear with for us for a few seconds while we put the video on. OrCam Read was designed especially for people who have dyslexia, reading difficulties, learning disabilities, or reading fatigue. It can read any printed or digital text, wherever you are, on any surface, at just the push of a button. OrCam Read does not require any internet connection as everything is processed within the device. So whether it's a book at home in the evening, a newspaper in the morning, documents that come across your desk at work or at school, computer or smartphone screens, or even a novel on an airplane or a train, OrCam Read can be used anywhere at any time. OrCam Read gives you full control. You can read at your own pace as it allows you to set the playback speed for slower reading or even for speed reading. Using cutting edge artificial intelligence technology, you can also choose to read from specific points on the page with two different laser capture settings. The first laser will capture the entire page, and the second laser will capture a specific paragraph. OrCam Read captures and reads the entire page with just one press of a button, using the most advanced AI and OCR technologies. You can even connect to Bluetooth or wired headphones for private listening, leaving you free to multitask. The advanced award-winning OCR technology implemented into OrCam Read originated from OrCam MyI2, the world's most advanced assistive wearable device for the blind and visually impaired, which is currently being sold in more than 40 countries and 20 languages. Using this technology, OrCam Read is able to offer the best user experience possible in an assistive reading device. And that is what this technology is all about. It's about giving people the independence that they need and empowering them to do the things that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Okay, so introducing OrCam Read. Next slide, please. What is OrCam Read? As you saw in the video, it's a handheld, AI-driven, smart camera, which instantly reads printed text off any surface with just the press of a button. OrCam Read is comparable to a highlighter pen in that you hold it, it's a fat pen, like a highlighter, about five inches long, about one inch wide, it weighs less than two ounces, and you hold it like a pen. It will read books, newspapers, computer screens, and more. You listen via the device's mini speaker with wired headphones or Bluetooth. You can capture a whole page or read just a section. Next slide. OrCam Read features. Read instantly, like the My Eye. You can take a picture and hear the reading within a few seconds. It works everywhere. It's a tiny wireless device. It does not need any internet connection. You can take it anywhere. It's easy to use. You just point the device at any printed or digital text, click the button, and that's it. Bluetooth, we mentioned, you can connect it um, to Bluetooth-enabled devices for headphone or speaker use. Speed read, you can read at your own pace, up to 300 words per minute. You would just change the setting to go to the comfortable pace for you. Laser guidance, there's two laser guidance options. You can capture a text block or choose where to begin reading. I will show you that in a minute. Full page capture. Unlike all other devices where you must scan line by line, OrCam Read captures full pages and screens at once, and it's portable. As we said, it works everywhere. It's small, lightweight, and handheld operation. Next. 
product information, as I mentioned, it's a handheld wireless pen sized and it's lightweight, um, about a little bit less than five inches long, a little bit less than one inch wide, and then the width would be about half an inch. The weight is um, slightly under two ounces. The important part here to emphasize is the battery has a life of four hours of continuous use. So four hours of it working. There is sleep or suspend mode, which is low power, that can extend the battery charge past the four hours of continuous use. This also has a 13 megapixel camera, so it picks up the finest detail. Next. So who is OrCam Read for? We found that this device can work for any type of person that is low vision, mild vision impairments, that has some sort of sighted capabilities. Students and adults with reading disabilities or learning disabilities can take advantage of the OrCam Read. Anybody that suffers from reading fatigue or traumatic uh, brain injury. This isn't just the, all the list. There are so many use cases that we're constantly finding out who can take advantage of the OrCam Read. The key takeaway is you can be in a work environment, home, as we mentioned on the video, on an airplane trying to enjoy a novel, students trying to study for an exam. Any one of these individuals can take advantage of the OrCam Read. Next slide. When using the OrCam Read in an educating, educational setting, the benefits can be improved learning curve by enabling more effective reading for those students, decreased dependency on others for reading assistance, improves classroom safety by eliminating power cords or bulky systems, decreases other students' distractions, small device with earphones for speech output, it makes it more private and no uh, distractions to other individuals and can help improve learning outcomes. Next slide. The benefit from the student standpoint, it does promote independence, enables the student to read in class at the same time as others. This can be used with whiteboards that has printed text, smart uh, boards, textbooks, worksheets, posters, ID badges. Helps with navigation by reading door and hallway signs. Enables students to read homework with minimal parental assistance. It's small, comfortable, discreet in comparison to other wearable assistive technologies. Improves morale and stimulates drive to learn more. One thing I want to reiterate about all this is a personal story of mine. I was a child who has and currently still does have several learning disabilities. A device like OrCam Read could have changed my outcome in life in ways I cannot even imagine personally. If I had this when I was in middle school or high school, I would have been able to kept, keep up with all the students uh, that I was in because I always was ashamed of having dyslexia and not reading at the same level. This will help those people with those type of learning disabilities or any other type of issues in gaining that confidence. That to me makes this assistive technology personal to me once again. Next slide. Evan, this is Lori. Before we go on, we, we received a question and the person is asking, are these devices appropriate for someone who is blind, totally blind? So totally blind individuals, um, we have seen a few individuals have been able to use OrCam Read as um, with legal blindness and total uh, blindness. It does have, uh, we'll show you in a demonstration, the buttons are easy to feel for. The OrCam My Eye 2 is designed for individuals with no vision capabilities at all. That is something that would be more suited 
plus it does a lot more than what the OrCam read does. And we can easily do a demonstration with that um, with somebody on a one-on-one -on -one basis if you're looking for more information about the MyI2 Pro. Thank you, Evan. Thank you. Great question, by the way. Now we're going to show how OrCam Read works. So you be, those who can see should be able to see me on their screen now. This is OrCam Read I'm holding in my hands and I'm going to bring it closer to my computer camera. It's very tactile. On the top edge, there is a charging port at the back, a power button next to that for turning on and off and putting it into sleep mode or suspend. Going forward toward the front of the device, there is a button shaped like a minus sign. That's to lower the volume and to rewind if I'm using it to navigate through text. In front of the minus sign is a plus sign shaped button. These are raised from the device surface for those who can't see. I can feel them tactilely, they feel different. The plus sign is to raise the volume and to fast forward through text. At the very front of the device is a round button that is called the trigger button and that takes pictures when I point it at what I want to read. It's truly one click reading. At the very front is the camera and the LED lights. On the bottom edge of the device is a speaker. Again, I could use it um, to listen aloud or I can use Bluetooth for um, earbuds. This one also has a port, a jack for wired headphones if I want. So I can use Bluetooth or wired headphones. So that's the device, very slim, and I hold it like a pen. I'm right-handed, so I'm holding it like a pen. My right forefinger is placed comfortably on the top of the device on the trigger button. Now, I'm going to show you that there are the two capture settings she mentioned in the video. I'm holding up a blank piece of paper here, and I'm going to point at it. Let me just wake it up. There's one that's like a cursor. It's shaped like a red arrow and it just points at a specific spot. If I want to change to the capture box, which is like a framed area that will be highlighted, that will capture um, specific text for me. So I can switch by double pressing, double clicking quickly on the front button, on the trigger button. And now I have a capture box. It's like a frame, four corners of a box to highlight what area I want to take a picture of. Now let's hear it read. I have a piece of paper here with some different um, items that I printed out from the computer. I'm going to click back to the cursor mode, to the pointer, by double clicking on the front trigger button. And then I'm going to take a picture pointing it at the top of my page and listen to it read. This is Orcam Read. I help with ready good fit for people with dyslexia, mild disabilities from trauma, stroke, etc. Today is June 18, 2020. Eve's telephone number is 973.8. She paid $5 at Home Depot in F. Okay, so I think I wiggled it a little bit. One of the things that's important to do is to hold it straight and steady until you hear the shutter sound and then you'll have a clearer read. One of the wonderful things about the OrCam devices is that there's no storage um, maximum, meaning when I take a picture, I listen, but then that content is not stored in the device. So it's unlimited in terms of how many pictures I can take. So we don't have to be worried that we're going to use up a limited amount of space like a computer. Now, let's say I wanted to read a specific part of this page that I'm holding up. I'm going to double click to go to that text capture box. And then I'm going to point it and read something specific. This 
sale is 50% off regular brick chocolate cake ingredients. 1 cup cocoa, half cup melted butter, 3 eggs, 2 cups flour, heat oven to 350. Okay, so I wanted to get to the chocolate cake ingredients and not hear all the other information. So that's why I use the text blocks, text block to identify that area on my paper. Another great feature about this is that it has, this camera has 20-20 vision. So OrCam Read can pick up whatever can be seen at 2020 by the human eye. There's a sign behind me on the other wall of my room. I'm gonna turn around and point at the sign. It's about 10 feet away from me and I want you to hear how it reads it. But first I'm just gonna go back to the cursor mode. Okay, and now I'm gonna turn around and then I'll bring it up to the computer for you to hear. technology changing lives. So for those who can see, um, the sign does say technology changing lives behind me. I'm sitting in a chair 10 feet away, point at the device so it can read signs at a distance. Another great feature that this device has, like the OrCam My Eye, is something we call reading navigation. One second. And in reading navigation, I can move around the text, meaning I can fast forward, I can rewind, and I can pause. So if I'm reading something and the phone rings or I get interrupted, I can just double click while it's reading. It's like putting a bookmark in and pause it and then resume when I'm finished. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how it pauses. I have a book here. I'm gonna take a picture and let's listen to what it said, what it's, the pause sounds like. One legend, the sculptor's mother was the mom. I'm going to double tap. I double tapped on the very front button, on the trigger button. I get the series of beeps to tell me that it's in pause as opposed to being completely stopped. Again, everything is audible on the OrCam devices. I don't need to see anything to be able to um, operate it because I get audio feedback. Now I finish with whatever it was. I want to resume that paragraph. I'm going to double click in the same spot on the power on the trigger button. His wife was the name for the rest of the statue page and Dr. Freud, the Now I'm just going to stop it by pressing that same button once. Everything is happening up there at that front button. Now we're going to um, go to the next slide on our webinar and I'm going to show you how it reads computer screens. So I'm going to take a picture of the slide that's up now. Orcam Read uses a highly sophisticated smart camera to instantly read any PR text from books, newspapers, smart computers and more. The light away intuitively operated with just the pre Okay, I think I did a bad job with that picture because it's not sounding right to me. So I'm just going to stop it and take another picture. There's no harm in stopping if it's gibberish. Sometimes there's light reflecting that makes it a little bit hard to read if it's um, shining on the reading surface. Or if I move too quickly, just like any camera, I have to keep it still till the picture's taken to keep it in focus. Is a highly sophisticated smart camera to instantly read a text from books, newspapers, SM computers, and more. The light went intuitively operated with just TH either listen. Okay, so I think that I have a light reflecting on my screen right now, which is causing it to skip some of the words that it's being shining, shined on. Um, now we're going to go to um, the next slide. And I just want to talk about the privacy for a minute. This is a big concern for a lot of people. So with the OrCam devices, nothing is sent to the cloud. No images or videos are saved and there's no audio recording. So if I take somebody's picture or if I take a picture of certain text, I'm not saving it in my device. I can't later go back and use that information that I've taken a picture of. 
Again, it's a standalone unit, so no connectivity. The information isn't going from here to the cloud. Nobody can access. If I'm reading something very sensitive or confidential, like a legal document, it's not going to another place that somebody could actually access that. It's completely private. And OrCam as a company doesn't collect the data or information that people um, are reading with their devices. It's only for personal use. Okay, and yes. We have a question that came in. The person is asking, how does the device manage stylized print? Is it able to read that? Not so well. I'm gonna do um, a quick answer to that question with this bottle, very timely. Uh, I have a container here Great. of Lysol hand wipes, and on it is um, Lysol written in script, which is um, going to be very challenging for it to read. It will probably tell me that it's unreadable text. The device does much better with block print. Okay, so let's try this stylized text. I'm going to point at the Lysol container. Point nine percent of viruses and bacteria disinfecting wipes lemon and lime blossom scent right so it read the text that was in print so stylized and handwriting by humans is really not um, read well um, it just could be skipped over so that's what it did in that one okay so um, we actually, um, the next slide I think is our question slide. So we could go to the next one and hear if there are any other questions at this point. So please type in the Q&A box with your questions. And while we wait uh, for those questions to come in, one thing I do want to point out about the OrCam read, the charging port on the device is what's known as USB type C port. So that is a type of port that if anybody's not familiar is something that is interchangeable from up or down. So it does not matter the direction you put the plug in, it fits in on up or down configurations. And I think Eve is gonna demonstrate that real quickly. Yeah. I hope the lighting is okay, but here it is. This is the cable. So it's, as he said, it's the same on top, bottom, all around. It doesn't matter which way I insert the device into it. And actually, let me have you hear it. Suspending, press again to shut down. One second, let me plug it in here so that you guys can hear. Suspended. Waking up. Battery is 73% Okay, I had to untangle the cord. Um, I'm going to put it in so you can hear the, audi the audio when I plug it in correctly, and I'll know that it's charging. Charger connected. Battery is 73% charged. And then when I remove it, Charger disconnected. Battery is 73% charged. Okay, now volume I didn't show you, but if I press the volume button, the plus sign. Volume max. Now if I plus, pr press the minus sign. Volume down. Volume down. Volume up. Now up. Volume up. Volume max. Questions? So Eve, we've got a question in the box. Uh, will you have a webinar to review devices for the blind and visually impaired? Um, Evan mentioned earlier um, that we can do actually individual um, video chats or even telephone calls. It depends on the person's eye level, sight and preference, but we can just schedule with people who would like to talk about the devices for the visually impaired and blind. Um, we can do that um, and arrange it just for a personal one. We don't have one scheduled like this that's open to many, but if somebody is interested, it's our pleasure 
to schedule with you personally a convenient time and to get on um, and do it in real time so that you can find out more about OrCam My Eye. Great, thanks Eve. And this is Lori. I just wanted to remind our audience that this is being recorded. So as you meet people who you think may be interested in this device, they're welcome to come to the National Disability Institute Assistive Technology Loan Program website to see this recording. And there's another orientation session as well. And next month we'll be highlighting um, another type of device um, that's assistive technology to meet people's needs. Um, Eve, we have a question. Uh, how much are these devices and what do you get for that price? Okay, so the OrCam Read is sold for $1,990, $1990. And for people who attend this webinar, there's a special promotion code discount which we're gonna reveal at the very end in about um, 12 minutes or so, or more than that, at the end of this webinar, um, there will be a promotion code for this device and for the OrCam My Eye. So OrCam My Eye costs $4,500, and that includes the personal training session to teach you how to use it, it includes a two-year warranty, and the warranty includes software updates and it all for two years, and it also includes if something goes wrong with your device, obviously not related to misuse or negligence, but if someone has trouble, let's say, for example, with the flash, the flash isn't working, or the battery's not holding a charge. So if the customer service rep cannot walk somebody through fixing it, maybe it's just a menu setting, then they will replace the device and um, send a prepaid envelope for the old one to be sent back. So let me review. OrCam My Eye, the wearable device is $4,500. That includes the two-year warranty I just described and the personal training. It also comes with a small battery pack to help with um, the portability and um, charging while you're on the go. The OrCam Read has a one-year warranty. It's 1,990. And this one doesn't come with in-person training because it's simple to use. It's one click to use it. On the OrCam website, users can go to the tutorials as much as they want and reinforce the learning that they get from training or if they want to relearn the device or learn features of the device that um, would be helpful by using you tutorials they can do that their audio and video tutorials both devices come with all the equipment that's needed to get started meaning charging blocks for the wall, charging cords. Um, for the My Eye, it comes with a pair of glasses, non-prescription eyeglasses, magnetic mounts. Both come with user guides to teach you how to read, I mean, how to use the device. And you can read the user guide with your device. So people say, well, I can't read my user guide, but actually once you have a device, yes, you can. And you can listen and take pictures to um, learn how to use it with your user guide. So everything is included to get started. There's no need to run out to Best Buy and buy anything. Great. Eve, we have four more questions that were submitted. So how does the OrCam device work in the field, for example, reading street signs? So somebody has to point the device, or if they're using the My Eye, the wearable one, they have to look toward a street sign. So you have to be able to either point this at the street sign and click, or if I am using the wearable, I would could point with my finger at the street sign. Pointing will make the my eye, the wearable one, take a picture. Okay. And uh, how about the ability to read a bus schedule? It depends on the layout of the bus schedule. Um, there, 
the device um, is designed to read text blocks. So if it's a clearly defined column, it may read the column first, like in a newspaper, it'll go down and then it'll go up and read the next column. So it sort of depends on the layout of the bus schedule. I actually have a 17 year old um, not using the OrCam Read, but the OrCam My Eye that he got last summer. And he is learning to do transportation around New Jersey by himself. And so he was practicing in the train station reading the monitors that had all of the track information and the schedule information. That's great. Okay. And then another question, how water resistant, shock resistant are the devices? Evan, do you want to answer that? Um, yes. So the, the devices themselves are, you know, they are drop tested, uh, usually from the height of uh, a desk. That doesn't mean they're shock resistant. Water resistance, they have none because you have all the speaker holes. Um, so if you get water onto this or any type of a lot um, liquid in there, it can potentially damage the device. Um, to clean the device, we do recommend using um, any type of uh, isopo isopropyl alcohol, 70% or greater. Usually like a hand uh, wipey type version of that works best because that will dissipate and uh, dry out quicker. Great. And one more question before we move on. Uh, can you again give a quick overview of the difference between the read as uh, opposed to my eye? Certainly. Um, and I just want, before I do that, I just want to say both devices come with a neck lanyard. Um, for those who can see, I'm wearing mine right now. So the device is always attached to a lanyard you wear around your neck. If you want to just have it handy, you know, sort of at belly height, you can just pick it up and use it and then let it go. So you'll always know where it is and it shouldn't be falling on the floor because you have it around your neck. So I'm gonna quickly do a review. Evan, feel free to jump in if I um, skip over things you wanna add. I'm just gonna change my glasses to show you all. On my glasses, I have a magnetic mount. I'm right-handed, so I put it on my right side. My hearing is good for on my right. Sometimes a right-hand dominant um, person has hearing loss on the right side, so we might put the mount on the left side if their hearing is better. It does work with hearing aids because this I'm talking about the my eye because it sits outside my ear next to my ear and so my hearing aid will pick up any audio that comes out of it. So again both of them do the same thing and that they take a picture of something in front of me and then convert that visual information that's in front of me into audio. The my eye will convert more information than the handheld read. My eye will convert the following kinds of information. Text that's printed on paper and, on, and digital. It will recognize faces and identify them it will read barcodes on products. It will read product writing, things in the kitchen, things in the grocery store. It will identify money, bills, not coins, and colors. It also has vocal commands. So I can talk to the my eye and give it commands of things I want it to do. I can tell it to I can ask it for the time. I can tell it to speak faster. I can tell it to do so many things. And now with smart reading, I can ask for specific things. Like if I'm looking at a menu and I wanna know um, all the dishes that have chicken in it, I can say, find chicken. It'll take a picture of the menu and read all the chicken dishes to me. So that's smart reading available on the wearable, my eye. So my eye has a, casts a wider net. It has more features included than the my read than the orcam read thanks so, Dee, that's great I, oh, oh go ahead evan 
A um, couple things I like to add in with the, the my, uh, my eye, because it is a device that is wearable, it does predominantly use the touch bar that's on the side to manipulate the device. Also does use uh, three key uh, hand gestures. One is using your index finger to point at the, um, whatever you want to, pointing upright. The other one is if you want to stop reading, you put your hand out as if you're saying stop, the way Eve is doing it right now. And then the final one is you put your wrist out and it will tell you the time. <laughs> Neat. Let's oh. see if that will work. I'll just put mine on. I'll do the hand gesture of looking at a watch. The time is 12.51 p.m. Today is Thursday, June 18, 2020. I have no watch on. I just looked, made a fist, and looked at my wrist as if and now I'll stop. Oh, she stopped. Go ahead, Evan. No, that was really great. Uh, so whenever you're using a device, if you're in the middle of uh, reading something on the, the MyI2 Pro, you put out your hand, it stops that function reading, whatnot. When it comes to the smart reading capabilities, you can have a newspaper in front of you and you can have it activate and once you activate the smart reading you can say read the headlines it will read all the headlines on that newspaper and it will tell you oh there are two headlines it will read the headline the first headline then the second headline then you can say read the headline about waltzes and then it'll start reading the headline of the waltzes but then reads just that article not the entire page so you can by using natural language processing on the My i2 Pro, you can eliminate the unnecessary need of doing what's known as linear processing reading, where it reads everything from top to bottom, left to right. Great. Okay, thank you, Eve and Evan. Um, please stay with us in case more uh, questions come in. Um, thank you for sharing your contact information. So again, uh, these devices are available across the United States. Evan and Eve cover uh, both New Jersey and New York State. And you're welcome to view our website um, to learn about other alternative financing programs um, if you need assistance to be able to purchase one of these devices. So. Uh, to move on, options for purchase, of course, many people save in advance um, for their financial goals, and this can include the purchase of an OrCam device, of course. Um, there are ABLE accounts. These are accounts for a person who has a disability that began prior to age 26. The person uh, can open an ABLE account online. There are about uh, 42 uh, ABLE programs available across the United States. Some of the states have um, several plans. And uh, you can go to the ABLE National Resource Center to learn about how you can save in an ABLE account. And family and friends can contribute to that ABLE account without changing the person's eligibility for means-tested benefits such as like SSI and or Medicaid. And um, so uh, please explore that resource. Individuals who receive SSI and or SSDI, the Social Security Administration provides work supports. So there is a plan for achieving self-support. So that allows a person to retain more of their SSI and or SSDI while they are working and um, or going to education that would lead to employment. And they can use that then extra money to purchase a device such as a, a visual aid or an OrCam device. There are also impairment-related work expenses so that if a person is working 
and they need to purchase a, a device, uh, a special computer program, any type of assistive technology, or they need to pay for an impairment-related work expense. Um, maybe that's taking public transit, for example, to be able to get themselves to their job. They simply inform Social Security Administration they want to utilize that work support. Each month they submit a receipt so that they are able to retain more of their SSI and or SSDI benefit. And then, of course, we have the National Disability Institute Assistive Technology Loan Program. So here I have posted the website so you can see more information. You can read a success story about a youth whose parent purchased an OrCam device um, and, and what a dramatic uh, improvement that made for that youth within the school system. And in fact, his peers thought his using assistive technology was something really, really cool. So um, we encourage you to take a look at that. And uh, our loan application is posted at our website. And we have an orientation uh, that specifically covers how to complete a loan application. But certainly give me a call. Um, I try to help people find other sources of funding for whatever type of assistive technology people might need. So please reach out and give me a call uh, following today's session. Next slide. So um, our, or our application is really focused on people preparing a spending plan. And this ensures that the person can afford their monthly expenses whatever credit they may have at this time, in addition to seeking additional or perhaps the first time ever, a line of credit. So receiving this loan can help a person who has a credit history to improve their credit score. A person who has no credit uh, history who is um, 18 years of age or older may apply for a loan, and this is an opportunity for that person to develop a positive credit history while paying this loan on time each month. Okay, next slide. This is what our spending plan looks like as an example. Everyone's looks different. And so like if I have an expense that I pay for like once every six months, I divide that by six and I start to save that money in advance each month so I don't have to worry that in six months when that bill comes to me that I have the money saved in advance to be able to make that purchase. Next slide. This is an example of all sources of income. And uh, we can talk about ways to create more income from present earnings or income as well. Next slide. Um, if a person relies on another person who lives in their household, who helps to pay household expenses, in most cases that person is added to the loan application too, um, so that we're certain that all of the monthly expenses can be covered. But give me a call and we'll talk about that. Next slide. So. Um, Information along with the loan application is faxed to me. That's a secured line. We look for proof of what the monthly income is and what the monthly bills are. And um, for example, if you wish to purchase an OrCam device, Eve and Evan always fax on over the final sales agreement. And um, next slide. When the person uh, meets with me, and we review their credit report, and they're comfortable that their application is ready for consideration. Next slide. Their information goes to a loan committee. So we have people on a loan committee. We are not sharing loan applicants' personal information, but we would share, for example, that a, a youth age 12 needs this vision device. What product they've selected, what the household expenses are, that uh, present credit and monthly bills are current, and that that family has sufficient money left over the end of the month to be able to afford a loan repayment. Usually on these vision devices, um, the term is usually three years. It could be more. but. Um, 
um, at a minimum, we set a 12-month repayment term, but people are welcome to repay that sooner so that they are not paying um, as much in interest. So again, it's a way for a family to develop a positive credit history and to be able to purchase this device as soon as possible. Now, if you're interested in, in serving on the loan committee, please give me a call. We have an application posted here on this slide. You're welcome to join us. I worked in another loan program. We had uh, 40 loan committee members. The commitment was only one year, and people stayed with us uh, in many cases 14 years because they loved that experience so much. So you're welcome to join our team. Next slide. What does that loan committee consider? Again, proof that the person can afford monthly expenses in addition to this new loan payment each month. These alternative finance programs are expected to uh, maintain a 94 to 98% repayment rate. Our program to date has a 100% repayment history. Okay, next slide. So, um, in many cases, uh, receiving a loan from the assistive technology loan program can save an individual significant money. So if we're talking about maybe a $3,000 advance um, uh, for a loan, in this case, a, a person could be saving $1,000 or more by applying with the National Disability Institute Assistive Technology Loan Program. Um, and this gives it a comparison for purchasing a device with a credit card at 24% interest. Um, that, that cost would be significantly more. And in many cases for other devices, an assistive technology vendor may offer their own financing. But when you read that fine print, in many cases, for example, for like a hearing aid, if a person were to miss a payment, all of a sudden the 18 or 24.99% interest kicks in back to the date that person originally received that line of credit on the full amount. So again, our interest rate is uh, carried through for the term of the loan and a person can certainly pay us back sooner um, rather than extending the term of the loan. Next slide. How long does it take to qualify for a loan with the NDI program? So if someone contacted us today, they've, I, I urge everyone to take their time to make sure they know what device is going to work best for them. So sort of the timeline is based upon your searching for the right device. We'll certainly provide referrals to help you find that right equipment for your needs. Um, when you get the application into me, you're ready for that to be considered for uh, the loan committee. That can be scheduled that afternoon, the next day. Um, when an application is pre-qualified, then it goes to one of our servicing banks. We have one in the state of New Jersey, and we have another for the state of New York. And uh, the loan check is written now to the assistive technology to excuse, excuse me, assistive technology vendor. And so again, that can be processed within two days time. All loan payments are made directly to that bank. And that again, helps that individual to either boost their credit score or to develop a credit score. Next slide. So I welcome you to give me a call following today's presentation. My name is Lori. My direct line is 202-449-9521. I invite you to uh, share this recording with your students, other case managers, friends and family, your congregation members, so that uh, we can make sure more people are aware of these uh, devices that will help people. And we have one more question in the inbox, Evan and Eve. Can eight, can eight device read a black lit marquee like a sign on New Jersey transit bus, for example? So if I'm understanding the question correctly, um, I never actually used a uh, 
the New Jersey Transit, I've uh, always used Long Island Railroad, and the new signs that they have are now digital displays like a computer screen. It yeah, should have no problem with those uh, screens because they're just like a computer screen, just with the information on it. Um, so it should have no problem. It all is dependent on how it's formatted on that screen. It does, um, you know, the devices are able to handle uh, columns pretty well. So I haven't personally tested it because I haven't been out in the field in uh, those places as of yet to find out. I don't know, Eve, have you uh, tested it out in uh, New Jersey Transit yet? No, not, I have not. Um, I have not. The one caveat would be, though, if the bus is moving, um, it can't really catch it, right? Because it's going to be a blur. So it has to be at a standstill. Um, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But the digital, um, the digital, the digital should be fine. Yeah, the digital displays, um, yeah, if it's like a scrolling marquee type thing, it won't, uh, it will have trouble with that. Great. So, yeah. Eve, so I, can you share with people uh, a little more information about uh, the promo that you're offering yes. today? I was just going to do that. Um, the promo I'm um, available today is for the listeners of this webinar. <clears throat> it's $100 off of an OrCam read, so that would bring it down to $18.90. There's no tax on that. And it's $200 off the OrCam My Eye. Now the OrCam Read promo code is offered on the website called Get OrCam, G-E-T-O-R-C-A-M.com. That's my website. At, and the promo code that would be entered is the following, the letters N-D-I-O-R, E A D N D I read. Oh, excuse me. N D I O read. The promo code for the $200 off of the my eye is N D I M Y E Y E. So N D I my eye. If anybody wants to use those promo codes and forgets what I just said, you're welcome to call me or contact me at 973-820-5000. Um, Super quick review, OrCam Read is meant for people who have um, mild to moderate low vision, reading fatigue or reading challenges, including things like dyslexia. OrCam My Eye is meant more for people with more severe vision loss um, and vision impairment. And um, it is the wearable one. Well, I want to thank all of our participants and thank you to Eve and Evan for today's uh, presentation. Thank you for sharing your information. You'll make a huge difference in people's lives. Thank you again. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. All right, take care. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.